Here we go, YouTubers. One Jeep heading down the road. I figured I'd video. I don't know. It shows me. I got to count for my time so I don't get hammered. I built, uh, well, the pallet was just trash pallet, getting rid of wood pallets, so get rid of that. You can see how the things break off. But I put a thing there to hold it there. I put a couple blocks of wood there to hold onto the spring so it's held up that way. I think it's fairly stable. Then I took in, uh, it's on the springs there. Springs are worth, I don't know, a few bucks. Um, then I got a strap. You can see the strap coming in. I guess through there holding it down it's up a back against the frame rails of the jeeper there so it ought to hold pretty good it's going up to the front to the dry ground but that's just how i did i just finished kind of wore out of breath it's probably been an hour or better for me putting that on now the next one i'm hoping to just go in there and pick this whole thing up i don't know whether to I'll, maybe start at the bottom and see what comes up this one's pretty ratty but there's still some stupid parts on here that you know there's a good window here's a good window um there's a heater box if somebody wanted to redo a heater box while they're waiting on doing theirs there's stupid little seat brackets there those are 20 bucks a pop uh what else in here there's a handle a uh, handle grab bar over there the heater heater vents so there's Goofy little stuff on these things that just adds up. You know, if you needed that, this back uh, screen, I think you could probably just make one better than that. But uh, how about a glove box? There's a glove box sitting in there for one of these. Um, missing the lid or the cover. I don't know if it's down there or not. So there's just a an array of junk parts here. Uh, that's a quick one. Over and out.